Prime Minister Diran Reef, welcome once more to Athens. Uh, uh, we had an opportunity th this, this morning within the context of a very productive EPP um, event to compare notes uh, regarding uh, the progress of our respective uh, uh, RRF uh, programs. And I think that this was a very uh, useful meeting also um, uh, in, in light of the European elections. I think it's important to be able to make uh, a, a case to the European citizens that uh, European funds uh, is being put to, uh, to good use. But also this is an opportunity to review our excellent bilateral relations. Let me uh, congratulate you once more on the significant progress that Croatia uh, has made regarding Schengen, the Euro, and uh, the, the fact that you uh, have been leading an economy which has been doing particularly well. Um, uh, so it's always great to, to welcome you to, uh, to Athens uh, and hope you have a also, a, a, a nice day. At least the weather is uh, the weather is very welcoming. Thank you very much, dear Prime Minister, dear Kyriakos, uh, and also greetings to your delegation. It is indeed uh, a great uh, honor to be uh, once more in Athens, and also thank you for the hospitality, both for our meeting today, as well as the conference in which I think both of us managed to put into the uh, spotlight the activities that we have taken uh, jointly at the level of the European Union and where we have been very serious and committed in um, using the EU next generation as one of the very important instruments that was meant to boost our economy after the pandemic of COVID-19. And as the numbers have shown, both Greece and Croatia in terms of um, relation to our GDP, in terms of uh, projects implemented, in terms of funds, are not only uh, using the CU next generation very well, but it has an impact on our public investments and everything that was related to the recovery from the crisis. And therefore, uh, have, having been in the position as a very much jointly pro-European governments, and I thank you for the support for Schengen last year and for Eurozone, I think that this EU next generation is uh, jointly demonstrating that countries such as Greece and Croatia can really make the difference by using appropriately EU funds based on what we are doing at our national level and with our own budgetary resources.